Every fruit-bearing tree was once a small seed planted in faith, watered with dedication, and pruned with care. As it develops deep and resilient roots in the midst of drought and trials, it grows and matures, it blossoms into a beacon of hope and produces fruits, fruits of faith. This is our story, which begins in a land that was mentioned 75 times in the Bible and renowned for its cedars. With hearts stirred by the voice of the Lord, Finley and Julia Graham answered the call to come and serve God and the people of the Middle East after World War II. They started with faith, the size of a small seed. It was planted and watered faithfully and sacrificially by them and others that joined the mission. The small seedlings developed and grew to what will become Beirut Baptist School, the Arab Baptist Theological Seminary, and the Baptist publications, today known as Dar Manhal al Hayat. For more than 60 years, these ministries have faithfully served, resourced, and equipped the church in the Arab world. This journey, however, has been marked by many challenges. But despite wars, strife, and hardships that plagued the land of Lebanon, the Lord was preparing local individuals to step forward and continue the work set out before them. Not only did the work endure, but it also experienced remarkable growth. In 1998, local Baptists took over the mission and started giving back life to a reeling tree by founding the Lebanese Society for Educational and Social Development. With the help of faithful partners, and qualified gardeners, new sprouts started to emerge again to join the existing branches. Mirath started in 2006 as a response to massive internal displacement as a result of war. It was followed the same year by Baptist Children and Youth Ministry, which has expanded today into salt and light. And finally, skilled in 2011, providing care and advocacy for children with special needs. Like sturdy olive tree, our ministry was being shaped and prepared for fruitful harvest. Throughout the holistic and integrated work of these ministries, God has enabled us to proclaim and demonstrate the gospel so that churches flourish and communities may be transformed for the glory of God. As we look back to where we started in the early 50s and the impact we are seeing today, we boast not in ourselves, but in what the Lord has been doing through weak and imperfect vessels supported by faithful partners and friends who play the crucial role through presence, prayer, and resources. As such, we humbly acknowledge that our work is only a part of God's greater redemptive plan in a region of more than 400 million people. We are but a small branch in an endless olive grove of God's faithful people.
Together, we began this transformative journey, and together we will persevere, united in our love of God and love of neighbor. Let us continue this most humbling, exciting, and rewarding journey of all.